Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for a uh, panel discussion of Questions of Truth, a book by John Pokinghorn and Nicholas Beale. My name's Honora O'Neill. I'm going to chair uh, the discussion and keep us, if I can, strictly to time. And I shall begin by introducing the two authors and our two discussants. Uh, the authors are the Reverend uh, Dr. John Pokinghorn, beside me, uh, who is, of course, both a physicist and a theologian, so who better to write on uh, the questions about God, science, and religion. And his co-author is Nicholas Beale, who is both a social philosopher, has a scientific background, uh, has worked in uh, many different capacities, including as a management consultant, and runs the crucial website that lies behind uh, this book. Our discussants, uh, there is a change in our program here because very sadly, uh, Dennis Paul was uh, not well enough to be here today, but our discussants will be Eric Priest, who holds the Gregory Chair of Mathematics and is a uh, professor at the University of St. Andrews and works on solar magnetohydrodynamics, and Dennis Alexander, who's director of the Faraday Institute for Science and Religion at St. Edmunds College, Cambridge, and used to run uh, the Molecular Immunology Program at, at the Babraham in Cambridge. Uh, now, I'm going to allow only five minutes apiece for the two authors before switching to initial comments from our discussants, then inviting the authors to have a brief say-so, then we shall open it all up. Um, I will just say at this stage that we all know that there could not be uh, a more, uh, either a larger or, or more topical set of issues. So topical is it that it has hit the sides of the London buses. And some of you will have seen a remarkable advertisement which reads, there is probably no God, so be happy, or so you can be happy. Now, it is fascinating in many ways, both that this is such an unlikely proposition to be qualified with probably, <laughs> but also the known sequitur between the two propositions. <laughs> it does rather strike one that if it were the case that there was probably no God, as many of our fellow citizens might be unhappy at this discovery as would be happy. Uh, in short, this matters to every man and every woman and is an enormous range of topics and we shall uh, inevitably touch only the surface.